three words, dragons in Minecraft. That's what the ice and fire mod adds to your Minecraft game. Not only these cool looking epic dragons that you can see there was a lightning dragon right there. Now don't get me wrong, fighting dragons is cool and all, but what this mod also gives you the ability to do is that you can actually tame and ride these dragons as well, which is probably the best part of this mod. So just think of this mod as the how to train your dragon movie, but in Minecraft. So I'm gonna go through a brief overview of what this mod is all about and I'm gonna show you guys how to tame and ride a dragon as well. But before we do, don't forget to drop a like on the video, consider subscribing. If this video hits 50 likes 5-0, I will do an installation tutorial for the Ice and Fire mod. So dragons can spawn on the surface quite frequently and they are usually at areas demarcated uh, with this charred earth blocks over here and you can see that the dragon is over there. But the ones that you actually wanna look for are the adult dragons which are in the caverns. The ones on the surface are typically the younger dragons, which don't drop dragon eggs. So if you want a pet dragon of your own, you will need to travel down to the deep caverns underneath, try to find a dragon, slay it, and then you will get the dragon egg, which is a pretty rare drop actually. But when you do get it, you'll be able to have your very own pet dragon that you can mount and fly around, as I'll show you later on in the video. So as you can see here guys, I managed to locate one of the rare cavern dragons. These are the ones that you want to look out for. And I'm just going to light the area up so that you guys can actually see because I know it is really, really dark. So let me just place some glowstone here. And you can see that this room is massive and we of course have a massive dragon here. Now it will automatically be aggressive and attack you once I head over into survival mode. So make sure that in order to prepare for the fight, you want to make sure that you have the best gear possible, preferably full netherite. So as you can see, it immediately gets aggressive. And this one is one of the different dragons as you can see. Okay, you can see him doing his amazing animation right there. He just did that ice breath attack, which I have not seen before. Looks amazing. It's kind of like the fire dragon's fire breath, but instead we get these really cool uh, ice blocks. And as you can see, he walks around, he sort of spreads ice underneath his feet as well, which is a nice touch. So once you've acquired the dragon egg from slaying the dragon boss, you can now begin the taming process and of course the first step is to hatch the dragon egg. For the fire dragon egg, you want to place a block of netherrack underneath the egg and then you set fire to it. And this works differently for different types of dragons, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna focus on the fire dragon. So he does take a while to hatch and that's why you need a block of netherrack underneath. Because if you don't, then the fire would basically be extinguished if you just use it on a grass block. If you place the dragon egg on a grass block and you light the fire, the fire will go out after a while and then the dragon egg will stop hatching. So what you want to do is in order to incubate it properly, you want to place it above netherrack because that way the fire stays there forever pretty much until the egg actually hatches. So the time lapse that you're watching now is sped up and once you give it a couple of minutes in real world timing that I'm talking about here, the egg will be hatched and there you have it. You have this dragon right here that you can see that is so tiny. It's way smaller than you. Absolutely adorable. Just look at it. Okay, I'm gonna Optivine zoom. Just look at him. He's sort of gliding across the floor. Yeah. He's like moving in a really weird way. So I think the models can be improved a bit better, but he's still really cute and adorable, which is the whole point of having baby dragons in the first place. Once you have your baby dragon, you can actually right click him and he will sit on your shoulder. So as you can see, I'm looking to my left. I can see um, my baby dragon here. And if I were to go into F5 mode and F1 here, you can see that he's perched on your shoulder, which is really nice. So you can carry him around just like that. And when you get tired of it, you can just hit shift click and the dragon will go back to the ground. And how you actually feed the dragon is by using this item known as dragon meal, which the crafting recipe is on screen right now. And basically you just right click and he will eat and he will grow bigger really quickly. So as you can see, he's much bigger now, really, really big. And if I were to shift right click, you can see he is at stage two. And if you right click, you realize that he can no longer be placed on your shoulder because he is just too big <laughs> to be on your shoulder. And of course, let's just continue feeding him here. And you can see that he's basically a giant now. <laughs> he's basically almost pretty much fully grown and you are able to ride him. So if I were to shift right click here, you can see that he is at stage three, which is the stage that you need the dragon to be at 
before you can actually ride the dragon and of course he can start destroying blocks he's huge massive and if you right click on the dragon you can see that you are riding him what can i say this is just incredible and you can walk around by using the WASD keys similar to how would you how you would move in minecraft and the dragon actually destroys nearby blocks you can see that he basically destroys some of the log blocks and some of the some of the leaves as well that you come into contact with which is a really nice touch because if you have the dragon sort of bounce off the blocks that would be pretty unrealistic right i mean it is a giant creature why would it bounce off leaves and stuff like that and i'm sure you guys are waiting for this moment how do you actually fly all you need to do is press space bar and there you have it you are on this majestic beast flying through the sky it looks amazing with shaders and there are some other controls that you can use as well if i were to hold down the r key as you can see the dragon is breathing fire and there's some really cool sound effects that you're hearing as well and you can use the x key to lower the dragon so if i were up in the air i would press x and it will lower the dragon so you can use g for strike attack as well so if you are facing a mob like this sheep here just hit the G button and the dragon will basically kill this sheep like that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a really nice uh, addition as well. And of course, you can hold down the R key as mentioned earlier to just set fire to these poor mobs. That cow got absolutely roasted, that's for sure. So as you can see, it is night time and the dragon is actually sleeping. Now, if I were to hit it, it would immediately wake up. And yeah, it is it's really cool even at night because you can see his head here, <laughs> right? You can see that he has this like glowing orange eyes that you can spot from a mile away. So aside from dragons, this mod also adds in other mythical creatures as well, such as pixies and hippogriffs as you see on your screen right now. But of course, the main focus of this mod is obviously the dragons. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this mod showcase and of course if you haven't already please drop a like on the video and consider subscribing because it helps the channel a ton. Thank you all for watching, check out the mod, link is down in the video description below and I will see you guys in the next video.